Beef stew. Beef stew. Good old classic, hearty, delicious, savory beef stew. But one thing, I don't like potatoes in my beef stew and I don't like peas. So you're not gonna see it in this recipe. We're gonna change it up a little bit. I am gonna make some creamy mashed potatoes because I think that at the level of comfort that I am looking for in this dish. So it's gonna be your classic beef soup without the peas, and we're gonna make creamy mashed potatoes to go underneath all this deliciousness. Let me just tell you what I have on my tray. So yesterday, last night, I cut up, now you can go to the butcher section and, or like your meat section in the grocery store and already buy your stew meat chopped. It's not that I don't trust the quality, it's just that I am neurotic and I want things a certain size and the consistency. So I buy my own top round and I cut it myself and I marinate it the night before. A little white wine, uh, garlic, bay leaf, salt, pepper, keeping it simple. Then we have our classic veggies that are going to go in. Carrots, celery, onions, some garlic, some fresh parsley. But I'm going to dab it up. I'm gonna dab it up and change it up a little bit and we're gonna add some of these Lipton Recipe Secrets, which is French onion brown gravy. Let me just tell you a little bit more about this. So Lipton Recipe Secrets, you've seen me do like the French onion chicken thighs I did last week. Um, we've also done French onion soup, we've seasoned potatoes with it. But I found this one, which was the brown gravy French onion and I thought, ooh, that's gonna add like a level of richiness and there's a salt component. This is already seasoned, so I'm not gonna add extra salt while I'm making this. I forgot to tell you, I'm putting this in the crock pot. I got other things to do, so I'm gonna get it all prepped, which I have, brown my meat, brown my veggies, and throw it in the crock pot because us moms, we got tons of shit to do. Let's start with some veggies. Um, I wash, when I buy the groceries every week, I wash and cut and trim and prep all my veggies so that when it comes time to cook it, I'm ready to go. So celery, I'm just gonna do a nice rough chop, bite size. It's gonna be, you know, stew level. And for my carrots, same thing, I'm cutting them in half. Um, and I'm gonna do a nice rough chop for those. You can use whatever kind of veggies you have laying around that you wanna put some put mushrooms in there too. Onion, same thing, rough chop. I am going to saute all of this before I put it in my pot. But just so you can get an idea of the size of the veggie. Ooh, and a little garlic too. I'm gonna thin slice that on up. That's because I like garlic and I want to taste the garlic and see the garlic when I'm eating it. So we're gonna thin slice that up. So let me get some oil in my pan, we'll heat it up and start browning everything before we throw in the crock pot and forget about it. Using the really big skillet just makes my life a lot easier. Carrot, celery, and onion. You hear a nice sizzle. We're gonna get a little bit of color. I like a little bit of color. Just a little bit of color. Wooden spoon. Sauteing these real quick. Um, hot oil, you can use avocado oil, salad oil, I use good olive oil, it's just a thing. Um, and behind you, which you can't see, on um, another burner I have our potatoes that have been peeled. They're in salt water and they are boiling so that we can make our creamy mashed potatoes with them. As soon as I get these brown, bring my meat over and I'm going to drain this. I'm just going to use a glove to pull it on out and get that browning and I got all the bread set up back here, ready to go in our crock pot. Veggie just came out, hot pan. Oh yeah, hear that sizzle. Um, if you have a lot of meat like me, you can do this in uh, parts. Don't put it all in because all you're doing is boiling the meat. The reason you're doing this is to get a nice sear. So this is gonna take me around three rounds. I'm coating the bottom of the pan with the meat, just spreading it out. And even if some of the garlic or bay leaves get in from the marinade, that's fine. It's gonna spread it out. Get a nice sear on all sides. Do this a couple times, and then we'll add it on into our crock pot. Already in there are our veggies, carrots, celery, and onions, and a little bit of garlic that we sauteed. Okay, crock pot. Brown meat, carrot, celery, onion, garlic. I'm gonna throw two bay leaves in. I'm gonna add in our seasoning packets. This is very hard to do with one hand, so we're very cool. So, one thing about this that's really good in the seasoning packets, they have a component that helps thicken up the sauce. So, as I drop a one in there, this will help thicken up to give you that cream rich graviness, which you get when you slow cook something. Um, and then we're gonna add on top of there, I'm just using good old beef broth. 
seen a million different recipes on the way you can do this. This is my way. And I'm using a whole container because this is going to go low and slow and really thicken. Put the top over it and we'll see you in a couple hours. Right, just so you can see, I added in a little bit of fresh chopped parsley. The only thing I'm not going to do right now is I'm not going to add salt or pepper. I'm going to let this go for at least three to four hours first. And then I will taste the seasoning up. See you later. I know I've done mashed potatoes on here before, but I'm just going to show you. I took my potatoes off. I use a Yukon Gold masher. But I don't really work that hard for them because I add my butter in. It starts to warm up. Right away, the potatoes come together. I warmed up in the microwave just a little bit of whole milk, half whole milk, half heavy cream. And then you know me, we have our secret ingredient, sour cream. Sour cream is what makes potato, no, I know mashed potatoes the best. So, just mashing it in. I do use salted butter, um, which is just the way I cook, so don't mind me, I'm getting like a full facial here. Um, and just add the milk and cream as you need. If at the end, once these are all mashed, I fold in the sour cream with a non-stick spatula. Get a good arm work out here. No lumps, no lumps, no lumps. We are fully mashed. Now, if I was at work, or if this was for like an event, I would have riced my potatoes, made sure they were nice and creamy and smooth, but they're for here, and they're good the way they are. Sour cream goes right on in. Spatula scrape in front, oops. Scrape from the bottom up. It totally changes the consistency of your potatoes. Um, if you are on a diet, little trick, non-fat Greek yogurt, tastes just like sour cream. Use it on your tacos, add it to your recipes. Um, we're health conscious here, four days out of the week. This is our weekend meal. Go on top of that savory, delicious beef stew. So, just seasoning it up. Oh yeah. This is gonna be great underneath that beef stew. Let's check on that beef stew. It's been going for mm, quite a few hours. Oh yeah, do you see this? Look at that richness. Those veggies, the meat, oh, beautiful thing. I love it extra saucy because I pour it, like I said, I don't do potatoes in here and I don't do peas. Pour this right over my mashed potatoes. Um, disclaimer, make sure you pull out your bay leaf before you serve it to other people. But delicious, perfect hearty for a snow day, winter crock pot dinner in all its glory. This is how I eat beef stew. Partially just a little bit of fresh parsley. Um, it is piping, steaming hot. Can't wait to get into this. The best part about videoing when I get to cook is show you how great it all comes out, and how, and then I get to try it. So good. Um, you can't beat the crock pot. It, it just, everything's so tender and juicy. And I'll tell you one thing, those um, packets, the Lipton French onion, just look at the sauce. Oh my God. So good.